everybody, it's Sylvester the Wet Last King. For those who don't know of me, I lost 75 kilos 16 years ago. So in other words, I embarked on my very last weight loss journey 18 years ago. And I'm so excited because I have some great information and experiences I want to share with you that's going to help you to not only lose the weight but to keep the weight off. Now before you start to change what you're eating or, or if you do any exercise whatsoever, the first thing that you need to do is think about your mind, what's in here. Before you start losing your physical weight, you need to start losing your mental weight and start changing the way you speak to yourself. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this with you, because I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm sharing with you what I did. And that's where I started. For many years, I would lose the weight, put it back on, lose the weight, put it back on, lose the weight, put it back on. Hands up, who, who's been yo-yo dieting? Well, that was me as well, because Whatever I embarked on, I was good at losing weight, but I wasn't good at keeping it off. And I'm thinking, what am I doing wrong? And what I was, wasn't doing right is that I wasn't really choosing the way that I wanted to live my life for the rest of my life. So could I see myself, which I did try when I was 18 years ago, 18 years old, having three shakes per day? And I did that, and guess what? Lo and behold, no secrets, I lost a shitload of weight. But the question I want to ask you is that could you do that for the rest of your life? That means every time you want to eat, you won't really eat. You've been having yourself a milkshake. Can you do that for the rest of your life? And if the answer is no, then don't go there. You need to do something that is sustainable, realistic, that you can do for long term. So that's what was happening. But I had all this stuff in my head saying, yes, I want to lose weight. I want it quickly. And I get it. I get that we all want to lose the weight fast. But trust me, believe me, by losing it slowly and giving your body and your mind a chance to work together, it would, stay, it would stay off forever. And that's where you need to convince your mind. And you need to remove all the failed attempts that happened in the past. But at least you had a go, at least you tried. Because in the perfect world, we can make perfect decisions. But we live in the real world. And we need to make real decisions. And for weight loss to begin, you need to decide and commit and to keep that promise to yourself that you will follow through right to the very end. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many setbacks happens or the scales aren't moving and you're full of like crap, you keep on moving forward and you need to trust yourself. And that means you need to believe in yourself that you can do it. Because don't expect anybody else to believe in you. You need to believe in you for you to lose the weight. And I know you can do it. Because my motto, I'm all about ever since I wrote my book, if I can, you can. If I can do it, you can do it. If that person can do it, then I can do it, then you can do it. There's no reason why you can't achieve weight loss like anybody else has. Weight loss is not complicated, it's really easy. It's just finding a method that works for you because you're unique. There is nothing wrong with you. You just need to believe in yourself, to, to commit and decide and to follow through. And don't worry about what anybody else says unless they have done that journey themselves because there's so many people out there telling people what to do and they've never done it before. So how can they pass on that experience? And I do respect those people who have studied the field, but knowing and doing is two separate things because I experienced all the ups and downs. 
And that's what it comes down to. I get it. I know that we go to food because food is a filler. It fills up what shit isn't happening in our life. And we go to it because it's comfortable, it doesn't argue with our friend, it's nice, it tastes great. But you just got to start to realise that you can't keep on doing this to yourself. You need to take a stand. You need to be strong. You need to change and get rid of all that crap in your head and lose the mental weight before you can lose the physical weight. And that's where you need to start. That's where I started. And look at me now. I've lost all that weight. And I want you to do the same as well. So my number one tip for anyone out there wanting to lose weight and do it for the very last time is to remove all that negativity and all the past experiences in your head. You are what you think. Start to think positively and start using the word I can. Not I can't. Well at least I'll try and give it a shot and give it a go. But start there first. And I promise you that you not only lose the weight, but you'll keep it off and you'll go out there and help more people to lose weight. If I can, you can, we all can. Until next time, I'm Silvestro. Keep on living your best life.